Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about the three places in Orlando you can find mid-century modern homes. There are several pockets throughout the Orlando area that you can find mid-century modern homes in, but I'm going to be focusing on the three that um, you get the most bang for your buck or that have um, had some sort of renaissance and are really up and coming neighborhoods now. On this channel, I do everything related to living, working, and playing in the Orlando area. If that's information you're looking for, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you will always be up to date. Okay, so let's get into the three neighborhoods where you can find mid-century modern homes here in Orlando. Um, mid-century modern homes are typically defined as homes built between 1940 and 1975. But I think most of us consider mid-century modern um, when we think of Mad Men. And so for that, I'm going to be focusing mostly on the homes that were built between 1950 and 1960, maybe 1965, um, around Orlando. And these are typically homes that are cinder block construction with pretty simple design. So the number three community where you can find a mid-century modern home in Orlando is Audubon Park. Audubon Park is um, just east of Orlando and um, has really benefited from its close proximity to Baldwin Park. Baldwin Park was built on the old Navy base here in Orlando and you might be wondering why Orlando without even having a river running through it would have a Navy base. Um, I have often wondered the same thing. Maybe that's why they closed it down. Um, I do remember when I was a kid, my aunt would come down from Maryland to visit and she would take us on shopping sprees at the PX there. So I was a little disappointed when they did close down the Navy base because the shopping sprees ended. Um, anyway, I digress back to Audubon Park. Audubon Park uh, was mainly built up to uh, provide housing for the servicemen and women that worked at the Navy base. So these homes were built you know, in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, and on. Um, they, they range in price here between 400,000 up to over a million, really depending on the size of the home, the upgrades in the home, um, and uh, the, the lot size also. Uh, one nice thing about Audubon Park really is it's really walkable. There's restaurants, bars, venues, shops, and events that happen pretty regularly in the Audubon Park area. Um, East End Market is a really popular spot over there with uh, a few restaurants inside, a coffee shop, and some little uh, knick-knack shops in there also. And Gideon's Big House, a really popular spot over there, is also in there, and you may have heard that because they do have a location at Disney. So if the Audubon Park is a neighborhood you think you'd be interested in, uh, give me a call, hit subscribe, like this video, uh, and just let me know. So the number two neighborhood in Orlando to find a mid-century modern home is College Park. College Park is on the opposite side of Audubon Park. It's on the opposite side of Orlando. It's on the west side of Orlando, um, but it does have a better proximity to downtown Orlando itself than Audubon Park. College Park is a five minute drive into downtown Orlando and probably even bikeable. Um, the, the price range in, in College Park is roughly the same as it would be in Audubon Park. I'd say between the 400s up to even the millions, um, depending on the age of the home, the condition of the home, the size of the home. There has been a lot of demolition in College Park where people have gone in and bought older homes, um, torn them down to rebuild newer homes in there, uh, but there are still mid-century moderns in uh, College Park, and um, it's, it's probably greatest benefit is its proximity to downtown Orlando. College Park also has uh, a walkability to it, and it also has a lot of shops and restaurants and a couple of antique stores over there. They also do events during the year. I don't think they do as many events as Audubon Park does, but they do events pretty regularly throughout the year there. 
Um, so if College Park is a neighborhood that you're interested in, uh, give, me, give me a thumb up, give me a message, send a, a comment down there, and let me know. And my number one neighborhood in the Orlando area to find a mid-century modern home is Sanford, Florida. Sanford is about 25 minutes from downtown Orlando. It's north of Orlando. Um, it's probably 30, 35 minutes to the beaches from Sanford. Um, it has an amazingly charming downtown center. It's been really growing in the past few years. It had a huge uh, kind of rebirth in the early 2000s and then the crash happened in 2008 and it kind of set everything back a little bit. And since then, it's just continued to grow and grow and grow and grow. Um, the, the homes in downtown Sanford range from little cottage to uh, 1920s almost style, I'd say mansion, um, and then mid-century moderns. So if you're looking for a mid-century modern home in a, um, in a cute little town, then Sanford would probably be your best bet. Um, the prices in Sanford are also a little bit better than they would be in Audubon Park or in um, College Park because it is a little bit more of a distance away from downtown Orlando. Uh, the prices haven't kind of skyrocketed there the way they have in um, College Park or Audubon Park. So you could get a mid-century modern home there uh, for 300000 on up again. Um, I would say up to 500000 um, over in Sanford. And a lot of these mid-century moderns in downtown Sanford are in what they call the golf cart zone. So this is an area of downtown where golf carts are legal and encouraged. And many people in these areas do use their golf carts to uh, golf cart down into downtown to have a drink. Downtown Stanford has, has breweries, bars, restaurants, shops, and tons of events all uh, throughout every, every month. Um, almost every single weekend there is something going on down there. So it's a great little town to check out and uh, still affordable. For, for most people who are looking for some type of home that's a little bit charming or has some character to it, and especially for mid-century modern homes. So today we went over three areas in Orlando where you can find a mid-century modern home. If this was something you like, sure to hit the like button down below. And if you want any more information on any of these areas, neighborhoods, or homes, please don't hesitate to reach out. That is what I'm here for.